In this exercise, we're going to have a look at how to use the Sapphire RackD Focus plugin to emulate a pull focus. This is a better option than using Blur, since the plugin simulates a real defocused camera lens with geometrical iris shapes, and the highlights retain their brightness. So here we have a dusk aerial city skyline, and we're going to mock up a pull focus. Open MLT Effects, select the Plugins menu, then the Sapphire Blur collection, then choose the Rack Defocus plugin. A default value is loaded, but to create a pull focus, we'll need to increase or decrease the effect over time. To start the clip with no effect applied, set the defocus width value to zero. Move further down the timeline to where you want the effect to be fully visible, then increase the defocus width to 100. In fact, any large value will do, just choose whichever works best with the image. Now, although that defocuses the image, we still need to bloom the highlights. Increase the Use Gamma value to around 2, and also the Boost Highlights value to 2. Again, experiment with different values to see which works best with the particular image. Render the clip by selecting the Render button. And there you have it. Other uses for the Rack Defocus plugin include blurring school playgrounds when identities need to be hidden in news footage, or for mocking up tilt shift photography.